Hello class, welcome back to Blackout Academy. Today we have a bit of a different uh, SCP to cover, and this is SCP-7034. Now most of what we're going to be learning today is actually from audio logs from a fellow uh, Foundation personnel that experienced this SCP firsthand. But let me give you a quick rundown. SCP-7034 Special Containment Procedures The exit ramp purportedly leading to SCP-7034 has been temporarily barred from public access for Foundation assessment. Further action is pending discovery of, conclusive, of a conclusive entrance to SCP-7034, or lack thereof. The Foundation is conducting an ongoing appraisal of the United States Interstate Highway System an attempt to discern potential access points to 7034. If necessary, efforts may expand to global in scope. Information regarding mis missing persons cases related to the United States Interstate Highway System is to be suppressed. Description SCP-7034 is an extra-dimensional space of indeterminate length, unverified composition, and unknown features. According to the sole account of SCP-7034, the space resembles a controlled access interstate highway. It contains a single stretch of paved road featuring eight lanes corroded by guardrails on each side. Other features, including those present beyond the guardrail, are indescribable due to a heavy smog that lays over the area. Electronic signals such as cell cellular service or internet access are apparently impeded inside 7034. SCP-7034 is highly congested with traffic, with all lanes occupied by vehicles of various make and model. The length of, con of the congestion, including its endpoint, is unknown. Attempts to identify these vehicles via license plate numbers have been met with varying degrees of success. A number of automobiles aligned with missing persons reports though some are geographically disparate from the supposed access point of SCP-7034. The means by which 7034 can be accessed remain unclear. The Foundation became aware of 7034 following the, the disappearance of senior researcher Richard Battaglia, who entered SCP-7034 after emerging from a tunnel commuting on Interstate Highway I-85 on December 3rd, 2022. Battaglia established contact with Foundation several hours into the congestion, suspecting that he was experiencing an anomaly. Addendum 7034.1 Received Transmissions The following are transcripts of recordings sent from Richard Battaglia to the Foundation via an emergency use one-way communicator a paratechnical device issued to select personnel in the event that traditional communication is impossible. Okay, we're green. This is Senior Researcher Richard Battaglia, Area 179, Department of Containment. Don't know who at the mothership is going to be receiving this, but the emergency kit paid off. None of you make fun of me for lugging it around anymore, okay? <laughs> uh, if this is just an ordinary traffic jam, uh, just disregard. You could take all the piss you want once I get back. Not sure where I am. I'm on my own. Uh, home to Gainesville for Christmas. And it's been a while since I was on these roads. I, uh... I want to say an hour past state lines. Uh, I got out of a tunnel on the I-85 and rolled up a detour like normal, thinking, shit, of course. But, uh, I've been stuck in traffic for, it's got to be 10 hours now. Hard to tell with the fog. We're moving forward, but barely. Phone doesn't work. Pissed in a bottle twice already. Oh, uh, half a tank full, so I should be good there, but... Again, Richard Battaglia, Department of Containment. I came off exit 242 on the I-85. I'll keep in touch. Ah, six in the morning. Still as dark as it was at midnight. Fog's not lifting either. I tried to... <coughs> <coughs> ah, shit. 
I tried to roll the window down, but there's this fucking awful smell. Don't know if it's exhaust or what. Christ. <coughs> I'll sleep a little, but the row ahead move forward like an inch. So this knucklehead behind me just laid on the fucking horn. Cars are just building up. You can see in the rear view. Exit 242, I-85. Send someone. 10 o'clock. The sky, not even exaggerating. The sky is fucking black. I thought it was night at first, but... I should be hugging my kid now, you know? I had a whole a whole surprise day planned out for him, since Daddy was finally coming home from work. And, and I know she's been getting him excited for it, too. What a fucking joke. I'm tired. Everyone here has to be. Stayed awake with an energy drink and some old new metal CDs I haven't listened to since college. Yeah, I busted out the old CDs. I'm trying to squeeze my way under the shoulder, but I don't know if there is one. Just a far lane that's as packed as the others. This guy just got rear-ended, uh, just now. Must have fallen asleep or something. Jesus, he's moving forward now, but... Wow. Wow. Should be fine for another few hours, I think. I've stayed up longer, and this caffeine's putting work in. Other than that, same old. Same old. Kiddo's probably up asking what the surprise is, if I had to guess. Bree's calling me a hundred times. My legs are fucking killing me, man. <coughs> Christ, are you fucking kidding me? I can't even step out of the goddamn car. Exhaust, fumes, it's everywhere. I, I mean, take one breath and the tears start welling while your lungs feel like they're seconds away from popping. As soon as I open the door, just barely so I don't hit the car next to me. These fucks behind me flip their lids, honking, throwing their hands up, waving me back. How the fuck is this fair? I mean, I mean I'm mean, i on my way home, on my break, after a year of nothing. Nothing but paperwork and bullshit. I can't even stand, I can't even spend time with my fucking family. And, and, and I'm stuck like this, without, you know, food or water or anything. I, I just did I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. I I don't I don't have field experience. I'm not a soldier. I can't even fucking turn back if I wanted to. There's no room. That there's there's people all around me and they can't get out either. And <sighs> sorry about uh, what I think I sent last night. I forget what I said, but it's been two days now on the dot. I'm living off a sip of water every six hours, so no clue what else anyone else is doing to fuel themselves. I haven't slept for more than an hour before someone lays on the horn. It's all they seem to care about. Just moving forward. The part of this that really fucks me up is that if we all stepped out, we'd be able to communicate with one another and maybe figure something out. I don't know, I've never talked to people, organized things. I, I thought by now, you'd think someone would have fucking done something, right? Going to see if I can talk to the driver next to me. Uh, I don't know if you got that. Been shouting through the window for the past few hours, rolling them up and down every few minutes to offset the smog. The guy next to me is named Michael. Older guy. Uh, got air off a different highway entirely. I-70. I... I'll get you his plate. Hold on. So, we're planning something. I'm in the lane furthest to the right. If I was able to talk to him, he could talk to the driver next to him, and so on. Eventually, we'll have an entire row of cars that are willing to get out of their cars, right? And maybe if we all stop, the lane behind us will too. Or they won't, and they'll run us down uh, the second the doors open. Worst case scenario, I have a gun. I just need this to work. I'm, I'm starving and I'm, I'm fucking scared. Bree's probably losing her mind over this. Yeah, it's not like you would fucking tell her what's happening, would you? Yeah, we just need this to work. So, Michael got through with the person next to him and they're getting through with the car on their left. We might be able to pull this off. If this is my last message, I'm either a pile of guts on the road, or I die 
or or I pulled a muscle after sitting in my car so fucking long. But it won't be it won't be because we're get it won't be because we're getting out of here. <laughs> wow, that went better than I expected. I'm laying down in the back seat right now. Fucking finally. Let me uh <clears throat> figure out where to start. <laughs> I hopped out of the car as soon as we stopped, gun in my pocket. Immediately, the idiot behind me slammed on the horn. But they cut out when they saw Michael open his door too, and the woman next to him, and then the one next to her. And then eventually, everyone in our row was standing on the road. The fumes choked the hell out of us, and it's fucking scorching out there too, but no one got back in. Then the row behind us funneled out. Ordinary people. Each of them just scared and tired and unwashed, just like the rest of us. And that was... I was a major relief, honestly. I was half expecting monsters or something. <laughs> uh, we weren't able to stay out in the open for more than ten minutes. Some fold in less. The air's too much, but we did organize a plan. People who wanted to move forward, they did so. Kept driving. The rest of us slept in our cars, in sort of a barricade along the road, leaving only the middle lane open for passing through. Such a fucking relief to be able to turn the car off and lay down in the back seat and... And, uh, that's it. There's no long-term plan. I mean, there can't be. We've secured some supplies from tractor trailers who've come by, warm water and soda, but... We're screwed when it comes to anything else. Without refrigeration or electricity, we'll last a few days, at most. The air outside is a problem, but... I'm struggling to think of a solution. We either suffocate in a cramped car or choke on exhaust. Problem for tomorrow. Slept for the first time in days. I mean, I really slept. An 18-wheeler joined up, and I'm recording this while sweating my ass off in the back. So it's still cooler here than it is out there. We have a big enough space for a group to talk, at least for a bit. There's no consensus on what's happening here. Some say it's purgatory. Others aren't convinced it's supernatural. One woman, one woman thinks it's a dream. I'm trying my hardest to tell everyone to keep their heads up. That help is coming, but it's been four days now, and I don't know if it is. I know these are going through, but I assume they haven't. F you haven't found a way in yet. Or if you have, you're too far back in this fucking jam to reach me. I'm going to try and keep our group together. If you're there, you'll know where to find me. <laughs> we, uh, we made a pulley system out of a tow truck, see, over the guardrails. There's just a bunch of fog, but who knows what, what's through it. Fuck my chest. It's for the shot, right? Boilerplate, final message. You know the deal. I'll be fine. Gotta use, gotta get used to these fumes. Masks help, actually. The COVID freak was stocked up on boxes in the back of her car. Makes it a little more tolerable. Once we get out of this, I'm living in the shower for the next month. Hey, uh, late message, I know, but I was busy today. Got lowered over the railing. There's about 300 feet of rope. Still couldn't see the bottom. Just fog and the smell got worse the lower we went. Hotter, too. I puked three, four times. I wanted to unhook myself, honestly. Just fall into the mist and see where I ended up, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I still want to get out of here, man. I, I love you. F fuck. I mean, I love my family. I'm going to see them again. I know I will. But if I don't move forward, get back to the road. I'm, I'm going to die. We're fucking starving. We have some water, but we're wasting our time in one place. We have to move forward. We have to. When they pulled me up, I told them. I told them there was nothing down there. I could see the same realization setting in on their faces. Some were optimistic, sure. The number of incoming cars has slowed down to the point where you could feasibly ride along the far lane without issue. According to my car, I drove just under 190 miles in two days, in complete 
in completely stagnated traffic with a clear road. I could do that in a few hours. Maybe there was a way out. The way we came in. I took someone's motorcycle and just set off. I rode for hours, but you can't recognize anything in here. No landmarks, no markings, just a road that stretched on forever. No matter how far I got, I was here. But even with a helmet and mask on, the smog was too much. Had to stop and lay down twice. Could have gotten killed. Nothing had to be said when I got back to the group. Some came out of their cars, most just stared at me through the windows. They all wore those same tired, helpless faces. Only this time, even under the masks, there wasn't a shred of hope left in any of them. People are starting to leave, wondering whether or not I should follow. I had a meeting in the rig, decided it was for the best. We can cooperate all we'd like, but we're wasting time. We could be just using to move forward. It's not like we're in, not in our cars most of the day anyway. God knows how much shit I inhaled yesterday. There, There's what lays ahead, and whatever sits at the end of it. Even if it's nothing, I, I could stay here and starve. I could hurl myself over the edge of the railing, too. I'm doing this for you, Sean. Bree, I love you. I'm going to see you again. His birthday is the week after Christmas, so... Oh, so you're going to skimp on the gifts. <laughs> I always promised my wife I'd never do that. My brother was a December baby, I totally understood. Yeah. God, you wonder how some of these other folks are doing. People who didn't stop. Where are they getting their water? Maybe there's a rest stop, a little Taco Bell or something. <laughs> but honestly, if they didn't, if they didn't do something similar to what we just did, just to refuel, then they probably didn't make it. We'll see, I guess. Yes, we will. At the end, at least the traffic is cleared up. For now, yeah. That was the worst, man. But when I was out there, I kept telling myself that the next time I'd fall asleep, I'd be in my own bed, right next to my wife. Hey, watch those sips. We'll only have a case back there. Hey, I'm finally on the road again. Came down to four of us in the group. Michael, myself, and the two sisters. College girls. We're all riding together. Not in the same car, you know, but we're around. Easier in case something happens. If this piece of shit guard dies. The road's clear. No traffic. Still black as hell, but we're covered. We're covering ground. We did over 400 miles today. So many cars packed in on the sides. I don't know if they did something similar to what we did, or... Or they're dead. But... If they didn't have water, then... I don't know what we're gonna find. I I'm not remotely prepared for bodies and death and all of that. I never saw a man die in my 20 years at the Foundation. It's gonna be a record. But all we can do is move forward. There has to be an end. I can't just... I'm going to hold out for as long as I can. Things are getting worse. Saw a car in the middle of the lane. The driver was slumped over the wheel, laying on the horn. That's someone who's never going home, whose, whose family and friends are going to be wondering where he is. Well, the last, the, the last thing he said to them was, I miss you. I love you. Running out of gas. Going to have to hop into Michael's car or the girls or, I don't know. At nights, there's cars parked along the side and... No, no, I'm not going to do that. We scavenged some food today. Believe it or not, someone blew the tires out on a tractor trailer, marked as a supermarket distribution truck. whole thing was on its side in the middle of the road. Half of the food was gone, most of it was rotting, but it's something. Didn't look for the driver. I I'm not fucking equipped to handle this shit. Fuck, fuck. Well, one of the girls, the sisters, the y Yelena, 
She killed herself while we were sleeping. I, I was watching the car. She just ran out of the out of the fucking. She just ran out of the car and jumped off the side, and I and I, I fucking watched her. By the time I tried to move, she was over the edge, and her sister's a wreck now. Michael's with her, but she. She just did it. We're, God damn it! Who cares? Who even cares? I love you. Good night. Out of fuel. With Michael now. Valentina is behind us. Her car is running. Poor girl. Yeah, I, I fucking told Michael what I'm doing. Who, who cares? Amnestize him when we make it out. I, I don't give a shit anymore. Terrain's getting worse. More crashes. Some bodies. Bodies. Saw some fuck with a flat tire stuck in the middle of his lane. Saw some fuck with a flat tire stuck in the middle of the lane. I think he was part of our group from some days back. Tried to flag us down, but he's more weight. We're already hurting for fuel. It's not like we couldn't have helped him, but... Michael has a spare in the back. We had to move it from view, and... We have to move it from view when we get a chance. Saw someone get raided the other night for theirs. We have problem. We have problems of my own. Like, this fucking engine keeps fucking sputtering and my knees are practically cooking from the heat. He fired a shot at us. Some bastard firing from behind his car. Sounded like a rifle, but I don't know. I, I took out one of their tires. Didn't fuck with me after that. There's easier targets to hold up than a guy who can fire back. Unless they have a spare, or take one from someone who does, they're screwed. That's how it is, here. I feel like scum. I don't even regret what I did. That's why. Hold on. I, I have to focus. Smog's getting thicker. Michael's out. Yeah, we're just driving shifts instead of parking to sleep. Can't waste time. I love you. And I miss you. Shit! We're out of gas. Uh, I don't know where Valentina is. I guess we just lost track of her. She she was behind us a few hours ago. It, it's just... It's so hard to see with the fumes. F food's all bad, too. I don't know what we're gonna do. There's never a car too far away, but... God damn it, I don't know what... I don't know... I don't want to fucking do this anymore, man. Got fuel. I don't care. They, they would have done the same to us. I didn't hurt anyone. I, I wouldn't hurt anyone. Just happened to be the guy with the gun. It would get me another couple hundred miles. As long as I don't hit that congestion again. I think... I think Michael wants to ditch me. He'd be fuck... He'd be a fucking idiot if he tried to pull anything when I'm the one with a gun. I don't even close my eyes around him anymore. I don't fucking trust him anymore. That's reasonable. Right? It has to be over a week, and, uh, no? Two weeks. That means I missed Christmas. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. Daddy's sorry. I, I'm going to make it up to you, I promise. When I get out of here, I'm done. I've made enough money. I'm taking my package early, and I'll spend the rest of my life with you. I promise, I promise, I... I'm not going to let you down ever again. Please, God, please, just let me out of this. Please, God, just let me out of this. It's dead. Figuring something out. Had to drop Michael's car. Looking out. Looking out for me now. For myself. There was a car right across from me. Smashed the window open and threw out the bodies. SUV with a family of five. All... Dead. Half a tank left. Just horrible. There's corpses on the road. Bodies. Track covered. Tarred. Bloody bodies all around. God, no, that's... That's not me. That's not going to be me. Some of the cars are just covered in this stuff. It, there, there was a... A head in the grill of a pickup truck. Just stuck there. 
I'm so fucking thirsty. Water, water all around me, but I'm not. I wouldn't do that. It's getting harder to drive straight. Too much shit on the road. I think I ran someone over. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm not. Not thinking about it. This. This isn't traffic anymore. There's no room for it. Just burning wrecks and bodies. Sometimes I pass people. I figured I. Sometimes they're eating the bodies. They can die back there, but not me. I'm getting out of this. I love you so much. I'm getting further than anyone else because I love you. And I'm gonna make it up to you. There's a massive pile of waste in the way. Cars, wreckage, bodies, lots of bodies. Dozens of them. It's burning. I don't know what happened, but I can't even see the top. Fuck, I'm gonna have to climb over. Get out of the car and see what's ahead. Fuck. <coughs> fuck. Fuck. Fucking awful. Got to the top of the... <coughs> Shit. I passed out on the wreckage. Cut myself so many fucking times. I can feel the grease on my wounds. I got over it. <coughs> There's no cars ahead. Nothing. They couldn't get past the pile. The fires burn through the smog. Had to get in another car. Had to. I, I, I'm, I'm in a car again. Every second, I'm just thinking of getting home, of coming out alive. I should be dead by now, but I'm not. That means something to me. I'm going... I'm gonna fucking pass out. There were cars on my left. I don't know where they came in from. God, what happened was... Happened was the one on my left came to a stop. The driver stepped out. Guess he was just fucking weak all of a sudden. This tractor trailer comes barreling out of nowhere. No horn, nothing. Ran him right over. Got splattered wheels. He just killed him. And if they were ever to do that to me, I'm, I'm gonna kill them too. Some fuck just tried to run me off the road. Didn't let them do it. I don't care who it was. It feels like it's just me out here. Me and the bodies. There's some sort of... <laughs> There's an incline in the distance. It's going up. Up. That has to be it. Through the clouds. Oh my fucking god, it's something. I'm making it out. I'm not... Holy shit. Full speed, racing up this hill for an hour now. Fuck you all, I'll be home soon. I know I deserve this. Thank God, I know I deserve this. <laughs> I'm in the fucking clouds now. This keeps going higher and higher. The smog's clearing. Less black, more gray. That's it. This is it! Road's evening out. Sky is clearer. I'm coming up to... Wait, that's a... That's another car. The lane's thinning. There was, well, it's thinning into a single lane now, but there's cars ahead of me. I can fucking see them now. Fuck, fuck, no, no, I'm not doing this again. How the hell did they get this far? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Roads. The road's so thin, I can't even open my door. The railing's there. This is the end, right? This is it, this is, this is it. <sighs> No, 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 no! No transmission was received for 18 hours. The longest gap between correspondences. Hello? Have to speak up. Okay, good. Still good. This is, uh, this is Senior Researcher Richard, Richard Patag Pataglia. Area 179, Department of Containment. I've processed that this is... It's going to be my last message. The smog cleared up a few hours ago, and I can see ahead of me now. There's a tunnel at the end of the road. One massive, gaping tunnel sitting up there in the clouds. Looks man-made, but I know it can't be. Inside, it's pitch black. I can't make any details out. There's these bursts of fumes coming from inside, and the lane... 
the only lane. Fuck. Funneling into it. My car gave out. I'm sure you can hear that noise. It's been getting pushed by whoever's behind me. Just a slow approach into whatever the hell is in that tunnel. I already had my breakdown. Punched the shit out of my window. Broke my hand. I think... I think I've just accepted it now. That either that's my way out, or it's over. I can't fully shake the hope, but it's... God, it sucks. What was all this for? What was any of that effort for? Article 32F of the Foundation Employees' Rights Policy. In the event of certain death while in the field, Foundation personnel may request that, that their kin be made aware of the details of their passing. I don't want her to hear all of this, but I have... I have enough time to... Fuck. Sean, I'm sorry that Daddy couldn't be there for you. No excuses. I should have gotten out of this the second you came into my life. I... I won't ever see your graduation. Your first day, your first grade, or your face when... When you see your sister for the first time, I, I won't be there to watch either of you grow up. And that's my... it's my fault. I love you. You... You can hate me. I, I understand. Bree, I, I knew. I always knew. Just promise me that whoever you bring around when I'm gone loves you, treats the kids right. You know that, though I, you know that. I, I love you. I never stopped loving you. If I come out the other side, I want this to be burned. Going in now. Further communication was not received until 12 17 22. A week following Bataglia's last message, these final transmissions, 20 in total, were unable to be transcribed, as all consisted of feedback, heavy distortion, sounds of horns, and screaming. A total of 83,000 unexplained disappearances have been linked to the United States Interstate Highway System. Uh, I know, I know that that was difficult for some of you to listen to. And this is just coming from me as your teacher, but... Tell your family you love them. Because... Working at this place. This can happen to any of us. It probably will happen to most of you. You just find something that the world can't explain, and then poof, you're just another number. Class dismissed. All of you go home.